Hello everyone, and today we will be integrating secant cubed x dx. To start off, I want to break them apart by having secant squared x times just secant x times dx. And we use the biparts rule, and I will set, wait, I will set the f prime be the secant squared x and the g be secant x. Now I plug it in there. When I integral f prime, that means also integraling the secant squared x, we get tangent x times g just stays by itself. So we have secant x minus the integral of f again, which we just found out that it was tangent x, and the value of g prime is equal to differentiating g, differentiating secant x is equal to secant x times tangent x. Yep. Okay, now we just do this even like, okay, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, we simplify this more. If we simplify this more, we have the integral of tangent squared x times secant x times dx. But we can go this further. We can go to this further. Tangent squared x from the Pythagorean identities, I mean, tangent squared x is equal to secant squared plus 1. And then we have the times secant x and the integral of dx times dx. And then, and then a minus, and then, a, and then we have a integral of secant cube x times dx is equal to tangent x secant x. I, all I did was just rewrite that. Okay, this one, I simplified even more by timesing secant um, x by secant squared x and by one. So when I do, I get secant cube x plus secant x dx here. I can also do this. Okay, now I can plus this, which is the integral of secant cube x times dx on the both side. So we have two times the integral of secant cube x times dx is equal to tangent x times secant x plus the integral of secant x times dx. The integral of secant x. We did that in the previous video, but I will do it again. So the integral of secant x dx. I will times top and the bottom by secant x plus tangent x the same case for the denominator. Since I did this, I can finally use the u substitution rule, setting the u is, as is equal to secant x plus tangent x. Then differentiating u, we get du is equal to secant x times tangent x plus secant squared x all by times dx. Okay, I can pull out the secant x on this term and this term. So we have du is equal to secant x parentheses times tangent x plus secant x parentheses dx. Okay, so the du all removes the top part. Yes, so now we only have du and then there's one on the top u is equal to secant x plus tangent x. Yeah, so 
the denominator is, is equal to u. And the integral of 1 over u is equal to um, ln u, but u was this. So we just found it. The value of the integral of secant x dx is equal to this. Okay, let's simplify this whole thing further by dividing by 2, but we have to plug this onto here first. So I am rewriting, which is the integral of secant cube x dx is equal to tangent x times secant x plus the ln of secant x plus tangent x of the all absolute value plus c divided by by 2. So the integral of secant cube x dx is, is equal to this long thing. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.